Hey there everybody, Arlo's here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 120 of my Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Assassin Let's Play with Hans Rass here, uh, back on the uh, Odessan here, the Alliance uh, Camp Headquarters here. Uh, we do have the mission, uh, chapter, what, uh, 10, 11, 13, uh, to talk to Lana Benico. Um, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is actually go and do some of the alerts here, uh, because you guys have told me in the past that uh, I need to get, uh, I should do this before um, episode or uh, chapter 15, because after chapter 15 doesn't really make much sense um, story wise. So uh, thank you again for letting me know that without spoilers. Um, stuff like that is perfect because uh, I know a lot of you guys have already played through the content uh, and I have not. So thank you uh, guys again so much for, for letting me know that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, we've got tons and tons of these alerts to do, uh, plus we have this guy over here, uh, Miat Den Den. Uh, he's got some missions for us too. Uh, with some Star Fortresses missions. Um, the only thing that might ruin my day is I've noticed uh, I can't actually um, bring any companions. I don't think that's going to really matter too much for most of these um, missions here. But if I can't summon them for like a Star Fortress mission, then I'll probably just continue on. Uh, with the chapters until then but uh, uh, thank you guys again for letting me all know all that information also uh, to give you guys a heads up our guild now has a uh, a guild ship now so we've got a guild ship for our, our guild now which is super 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 awesome uh, so eventually I can I can get some perks and stuff I do want to change the guild heraldry before I do anything of that because the guild perks here um, for instance uh, Commander 1, increased command experience earned from all sources by 3%. And I believe um, it has to be, I'm not sure if it has to be over the planet, because we can move the, the ship between different planets. Um, but it does cost, what, this one costs 90 or 900,000. I've only got a million in there right now. Uh, and it costs a million to change your heraldry, so I want to do that first. Uh, lots of different options here. Um, either A, I'll go through this myself and pick one, or B, I'm actually thinking about doing a stream um, and kind of going on and deciding, uh, having you guys kind of help me decide uh, what heraldry to do uh, then. But uh, that's going to be a little bit later, but uh, we'll figure out. So the flag must be intended to invade a planet before the guild can participate in guild conquest. Cool, I'm so excited for that. Oh, what's this button? Oh my gosh. I didn't even look at this. So many things. Ah, oh, I'll look at that later. <laughs> so much stuff going on. Uh, and if you guys want to join the Frozen Empire uh, or my Republic Guild also, um, I am on the Starforge server right now. Uh, so all you guys have to do is either uh, send me an in-game mail. Uh, it's one of my characters, Hazrath or Ziti. Or send me um, a comment in the comments below any of my videos. Or better yet, hit the Discord channel, which has a link in the description below. Um, and send uh, me a message um, that you'd like to join the guild. Uh, and better yet, that uh, when you're able to go online uh, to Star Wars of the Republic, because you do have to be online at the same time as someone from the guild uh, to be invited to the guild. And you have to like, kind of meet up in person. Guild, uh, the flagships are usually the, not the guild ship, uh, the, the fleets are usually the best place for that. Um, but um, so even if I can't make it online, um, there are anyone else that's part of the guild right now can invite you also so uh, maybe they can hop in and join you too or invite you too so uh, that would be a super super awesome I love to get more people involved I definitely want to do a, a day where I do um, guild events with you guys uh, I gotta figure that out uh, I know a lot of us are a lot of different time zones and stuff like that which is I'm gonna uh, don't get me wrong it, it's so awesome and so kind of cool uh, that so many people are different time zones and stuff like that but uh, I know it kind of makes um, getting together in game a little bit tougher but uh, i'm a little bit more flexible uh sometimes with my schedule but uh, we'll see so again uh just a little spiel about that uh and before we go further with this i want to go over some of the comments from last episode uh so darth radness uh you said yes the new lightsaber is awesome uh looking at your opinion uh with the carvings on it also remember mods uh you have in your current lightsaber is not as good as the 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 one i just got so i can move the mods over um swap them and you like you like valen as well now uh, you can't wait for you to start trying to get companions and seeing how that works also don't forget to buy the guild flagship i bought the guild flagship yay and i have a new uh 
lightsaber double yay so i did uh put all the mods inside this one which looks really really cool with all the engravings and stuff like that so dave thank you darth radness for reminding me that sometimes i forget about the mod stuff i don't know why but uh that that could be could be it um but thank you for that um also a comment from iris dragon master that mentioned if i look at the description of the new lightsaber it says it grants special abilities for fighting arkan perhaps you should use it when the time comes uh it does so if i gotta see here for a moment um and bring this up so it mentions here uh so equip uh i'm pointing at my finger you guys can't see under requires level 70 and requires double bladed lightsaber uh equip grants special abilities based on your decisions um, and then has a little description about it. And it also, I noticed, when I have it equipped, I've got these two things here. So I've got a tune. You are prepared to lose everything to achieve ultimate victory. And then a tune you have harnessed the unified beliefs of Satil Shan and Darth Mar. So I wonder if this will change based on um, all the decisions I made. So I'm kind of interested to see um, what uh, what Zatis are going to look like. So I'm kind of interested for that. Uh, but thank you, uh, Iris Dragon Master, for letting me know that. I didn't actually notice that when I first saw it. And that is super cool. So I'm really excited to see what that's going to do uh, when the time comes. Uh, so thank you for that. And Dollar Sphere also said, I guess before the beginning of the next chapter, it would be time to do some alert missions. Yes, it's time to do alert missions. I'm excited. Yay, alert missions. <laughs> I'm kind of excited for that. So uh, thank you, Dollar Sphere. Uh, thank you, Irish Dragon Master. Thank you, Darth Radness. I think, yeah, Dollar Sphere and uh, Darth Radness, you guys are both in the guild. So thank you guys for joining the guild. Iris Dragon Master, if you haven't been playing Star Wars, you're still playing it, let me know. I'd love to, love to have you in the guild, even if you can't play with us very often or at all. I love to have you guys. A lot of fun. Uh, because uh, I believe it's um, the guild does level up also. So we get experience. Again, not a lot of experience right now. There's only a few of us. But um, I believe with uh, each conquest point you get, the guild gets two experience points. I don't know exactly. But uh, uh, I love to level up the guild a little bit more. But let's uh, continue on with this mission here. So, what are we going to do? Ooh, sorry, I'm a little heavier. Um, also, if you guys um, hear a little bit of noise in the background, my kids have a fan on. Uh, it's a little little, little hot in this room when I get my computer going. Uh, the joys of having an AMD PC. Uh, but I do like them. They, they, AMD works a little bit better for not only... The, it's not 100% for games, but uh, I do a lot of like um, 3D modeling and video editing, so so much better for that than in the Intel stuff I could get. Uh, but uh, either way, uh, let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I hear about that. Um, let's see, death before dishonor. Uh, meditation brought a vision to me to reveal the path to growth. I see a shadow sweeping across Ilum. I uh, hear desperate cries for help and justice in my vision. You travel to Ilum and speak with a the human there, the foreman. Opportunity will flow from these actions. I have faith that you will lead us down the correct path. Well, let's travel to the alert location. Traveling? Yes, I am traveling. Okay, so let's go to Ilum and see what shadow is on Ilum. What's going on in Ilum? I have not been to Ilum for many, many, many moons. I'm excited to head back here. Okay, so let's head. Looks like this way. Can I grab an opinion? Oh, ah, oh, thank goodness. I can grab a companion here now. Ooh, who do I want to bring with me? Oh, oh gosh, there's so many of you. I got Yoon. I got Paxton. Um, I got Lana. I can, I can bring Kylo here. It doesn't really make much sense for the same. Same as Ar Eric. That doesn't really make much sense. Um, You know what? Let's bring Scorpio. I haven't brought you for anything. I have arrived. You have arrived. Thank you Your for arriving. Functions uh, let's see if I can give you any of these. We've got a large influence gained here. What is this? Where? I accept your tribute. Where did all this armor come from? I didn't have this a moment ago. It's not what I was wearing here. I don't know what that's from. Oh well. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, only give it to you if you have a large. It's going to get your influence up a little bit. Thank you. You're very kind. Oh, you're so very welcome, Scorpio. I accept your tribute. All right. So let's head on a mount here. And head inside. And see what's going on. Death before dishonor. Oh, 
All right, meet with the foreman. We're recruiting some foreman to our grand alliance. All right, see this personal phase. Excellent day. Minor, minor. All right. Oh, here's a foreman. Hey, Zahn. I love how Zahn has a name and mining foreman is just mining foreman. Still no word from Shaft 12. Atmospherics are bad. Maybe... Keep trying them. Just keep trying. I'm not losing anyone else out there. Ah! Oh. I'm sorry. You startled me. There's a killer out there and I didn't see you walk up. But... Oh. Tell me why you're so afraid, wretch. I'll give you something worth fearing. I, uh, of course. And things were going well, more or less, until a few weeks ago. Stopped getting word from a few of our camps. Then we started finding the bodies. Hacked to pieces. Nothing else touched. His only motive seems to be to hurt us. Um, sounds like an act of vengeance. Any idea how you made this enemy? No, none. It started around the time we broke ground on Shaft 16. Probably a coincidence, but maybe there's something there we don't know about. Um, I'll investigate. It's as close to a lead as we've, uh, as we have from the sound of things. I'll mark Shaft 16 on your map. Please be careful. This guy won't think twice about trying to kill you if you cross paths. All right, let's head to Shaft 16, which is way over here. Let's see if I have a quick travel that takes me closer. Not particularly. This one might be a little bit closer. But we'll see. Do do do. A shuttle has been dispatched. Awesome. I like when shuttles are dispatched. Helm controlled by misunderstood. That's a guild there. Seems like some missions and stuff. But uh, those might be from the planet. I was originally on the planet. Uh, can I get through here and then go down here? Okay. Let's do that. Zoom this map out so I can kind of see where I'm going a little bit. Uh, venomous Lisks. I don't remember Venomous Lisks at all. Alright. This is so... Uh, why you... I don't like how that keeps flashing. I am I know there's alerts. I'm doing the alerts. Give me a moment. I'm going the wrong way. 100% going the wrong way. Am I? How do we get to where I want to go? Let's go through here. Can I go through there at all? Oh, that's blocked off. I can't go through there. Okay. Uh, I might have to find a different way then. Oh no, I can go up and around. Okay. Wow, oh, this is this is a very very long about way to do this one. Alright, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I want to take another really bigger killed ship here. Alright, so perks. So Commander One. Distance looter. Increase the range at which you can pick up additional loot level looting. Ah, I'm not too worried about that. Um experience power house, increase experience earned from all sources by 3%. That's pretty good. Oh, and they last a certain amount of days, too. Um, the mountain proof increased mount speed by 10%. That'd be good. But we need 50 guild commendations. I'm not sure to get those yet. Uh, and this is reputable. Oh my gosh, I got so many people shocking me. Taking me, it's awesome. Let's follow this path now. Um, increased reputation earned by all sources by 5%. Okay, and then there's these ones too, which uh, looks like... Oh, guild must be level 59, so you have to level up your guild to get these these ones eventually. Okay, what about this side? Crafting, uh, efficient missions, gathering efficiency, quick traveling, and then we get different bonuses down here. Um, I assume we have to have all the spaces filled, or just only have that? Let's go back to this for a moment, which is what I like. Uh, mountain improvements, that'd be good. What's that? Zeal. Uh, no, it's not the greatest one though. Ranks and stuff. Okay, I'm kind of excited to get this get this going. Start unlocking more things. Oh, okay. 
to that for a moment and got scared because I'm like, oh, maybe this is a super fat, super bad. Oh, maybe it was. Oh, gosh. You guys are tough. So much traveling. So, yeah, let me know if you checked out the uh, the video or did a quick little tour. We don't really have anything in the guild ship right now. I haven't unlocked anything for it. Uh, so, um, I hope we are able to do that sometime in the future. Maybe I'll actually, I know uh, in the cartel market... Um, you can actually buy decorations. I'm not sure which ones go to guild and whatnot. Maybe I'll buy some guild decorations or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm discovering guild mining camp. Okay, I gotta go this way. Down here? Yeah, it looks like it's down here. Nope, that's not it. That's a Republic base. Um, it wants me to go into the Republic base. That's not gonna happen. How am I supposed to get in there then? I'm in Republic territory. Oh, okay. Is there a way to go around here somehow? How am I supposed to do that? I can't go into the base. Yeah, I'm going to die in like two seconds here. Your vital functions improve. Wants me to go through Combat the base. This is terminal. not the smartest thing I could be doing right now. Uh, I'm probably going to die. Oh, I can go invisible. Why am I not going invisible? That's going to be the best thing for me. Kate. Oh, that's ridiculous. I could have just went this way, guys. Sometimes the map does is, is not the most intuitive of things. <sighs> well, I'm glad I could go invisible at least. Let's see, okay. Let's hop out of Shroud and then hop on a mount again. Oh my gosh, so sorry about that, guys. Alright, where are we going? Besides beautiful, beautiful Ilum. Ooh! Imperial people! Yay! Imperials! Our ravenous lisks. I don't want to deal with you lisks. Also really low on health. I should probably seethe up a little bit. Yeah, let's seethe up a little bit here. Before we head in. Also, a crystal here. Grab that, level up my crafting a little bit. Archaeology. There we go. Archaeology is now 55. Oh. Scorpio. You may be soon. Okay, what do we got Survive. here? Survive. Here, investigate shaft 16. Oh. We have something here. Use Camp Holocaust. Well, let's use this thing. The big natural cavern on the site was a real blessing. Weather here is blasted awful. Uh, should have the temp haps thrown up in a few hours, and we can start the excavators tomorrow. Uh, well, turns out someone else thought this cave was a pretty safe place to stay, too. Found some signs of life. Some small temple, a shrine maybe, is sitting right on the crystal seam. Uh, Farab thinks it's probably some long-dead primitive worship spot, but it doesn't look like... Uh, it doesn't look all that old, if you ask me. I sent word to the foreman, but we're probably losing at least a day to sorting this out. Looks like we're keeping up to schedule. Uh, I'll bet corporate didn't bother trying to sort out who might have the rights to this cult, the, cult, uh, the rights to cultural artifacts. Uh, well, it won't matter once the digging starts. Kind of a shame. Uh, someone put a lot of care into this thing. Maybe I'll take a hollow. Oh, just ran over someone's thing. Oh, we gotta use this. Anyone out there? Hello? Please, someone answer. <laughs> what are you screaming about? He's here. Shaft 12, I need help. We can't reach base camp. Th that monster, he's killed everyone outside the tunnels. He's just waiting at the mouth, pacing. We're trapped. Oh, I think he heard me. He's coming. Help, please, help. All right, so now we got to head to Shaft 12 here. Oh, look, someone else is here. Hello. 
uh, Zarata. All right, so where's Shaft? Oh, Shaft is way up there. Okay, do I have a? No, oh, I do have a closer waypoint to that. Good, good. Let's travel. Traveling. All right, let's uh, head on a mount. Make things extra quick. Matt's gonna do some running around. Our lucky seven. Lucky seven seven swoop. That throws out credits when we drive by. All the little, uh, the little peoples. The not, actually, I'm not even that rich right now. I've only got like a million credits. 1.3 million. That's not very much at all. Oh boy. Who are you? A Duros captain. Gosh, I love the look at. I love the look of Ilum. Especially with like, these meteorite showers here. Looks so good. I'm such a cool planet. Should come back and do all the uh, Ilum events here sometime. So many events. I like. There's so much stuff I've done in this game. Yet there's so much stuff I haven't even touched yet. <gasps> the light side grows stronger. No, we can't have that. Light side can't grow stronger. Whoa, I'm gonna try to sneak past all you guys. This is not gonna go well. Nope, this is not gonna go well. So. <laughs> You can't see me. I love Vesh. I love going invisible. It makes life so much easier sometimes. All right, so let's um. Ooh, what's this? We have a security chest there. Well, let's get out of invisibility and let's. Oh, yeah. There's no going on here. Let's take these guys out and grab this. Uh, Okay. Yeah, what you guys? Oh, they're so I better targets. Well, I know they weren't very strong. I'm sorry, Scorpio. You want to get to that? All right. Yeah, where did these items from? I don't know. Ooh, dead by. Oh my gosh, they're all dead. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, it was one of them... Anna? I don't see her here at all. Oh, we got another thing here. So, you wouldn't believe the stuff they dug over up, up over at 16. Uh, Farib showed me this freaky looking mask he found, all painted up and thorny. I think it's even made of bone. Said he was going to keep it locked up back at base camp until he could send it home. Not my choice of memento, but I guess no one will miss it. Uh, I don't like this. Foreman's checking in on us a lot. Hasn't said why, but he seems nervous. Wonder if the war is drifting our way. Blast. People are saying 16 got attacked. Everybody killed. Cut up. I don't think it's just a rumor. I heard screaming over the comm. Sal from 14 shouted his lungs out about a monster uh, and a bone mask killing everyone. I've heard of this kind of thing. It's a freaky ghost. He's coming for that mask. I knew it. Maybe it's cursed. I saw it. Does it mean I'm next? Uh, I've got to get out of here. Oh... Freaky guy in a goat, in a, in a, in a mask, a bone mask. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Okay, you find the entrance to Shaft 12 collapsed, just like the entrance to Shaft 16. Given the uh, other bodies in the area, it seems uh, unlikely that Anna would have survived, even if she did make it out of the Shaft in time. Uh... Through your connection to the Force, you sense powerful emotional traces left behind by the attacker. So the, the attacker is very emotional about this. Seething hatred, uh, but also great sadness, regret, and a profound sense of loss. What's going on, huh? Hatred, but loss. There are no emotions of random violence. This is a very specific reason for these attacks. Oh, that's really cool that we have that. You should report your findings to the mining foreman. All right, so let's head back to the mining foreman. Uh, he's over here. Back over there, okay. Let's head here. Yeah, that'll be the best way to do it. Alright, and then we are going to do a little loopy round. Well, first we're going to cop them out. That's going to make the most sense. Do a little loopy rounder here. 
in our uh, Kakrand Dragstar. Yeah, Dragstar. Which I believe is from uh, Swoop Racing from uh, Knights of the Republic. Which was a very fun pastime. Oh my gosh, I've done so much of that back in the day. I should really play through that game again. I mean, I own it on like a dozen different devices. It's crazy. I still got it for Xbox. I got it for, well, I mean, not really a dozen. Three, really. Uh, Xbox. Um, I think I still got it for my PC, and I have it for mobile, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, gosh. There we go. I'll look to the first. I'm actually really excited, because there are still rumors, uh, and they're getting, getting stronger, these rumors, about possibly an Old Republic... Uh, movie or television series and that would be amazing I would absolutely love that that would be so good uh, my personal vote would be for a TV series just because you can delve a little bit more maybe like a movie and a TV series maybe like a TV series because I mean Disney owns it so it'll be Disney Plus it's so like a TV series on Disney Plus that has like a movie on Disney Plus Oh, oh, dead miners, that's not good. Administering my hydraulic repairs. Uh oh, uh oh. <gasps> it's Zalik! Hey Zalik, how's it going, buddy? I haven't seen you for forever, my young uh my young apprentice. No, 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 please! I'd know that presence anywhere. You've been busy, my apprentice. I thought the feeling was from within. Lord, we cannot speak now. I must kill them. Don't let him. Please! I'm begging! Quiet! <laughs> uh, kill them and be done with it. I have need of you again. Thank you, Lord. No! Why? My father will know peace again, soon. I have honored your legacy as well, Lord. Uh, as you should, apprentice. That is not a name for me now. I have enjoyed freedom as a Lord of the Sith. I would kneel again for a Lord such as you. Then Neil. Yes, Lord. Haha, <laughs> we have Zalik back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm sorry, Scorpio. But we're going to bring... Where's Zalik? Where's Zalik? There he is. Oh, what? I can't use Zalik? Oh, speak the Sana Ray? Okay, so let's head back to... Sana Ray, Sana Ray. All right, and then traveling to contact, it might start the next chapter and I'm just gonna exit out of it if it does it was doing that to me before so hopefully it doesn't but we'll see it just yeah just automatically started the chapter so uh, I'm hoping it does not that is a little bit of a frustrating system that they have there I mean kind of makes sense because this is a very story driven thing and most people will want to play through the story but yeah it's gonna do it Uh, what's going on here? Okay, good. Whew. It was doing the little talking thing like it was about to. All right, so Separatist Force Enclave, or Specialist Force Enclave. Let's talk with Asana, Ray. Zalik has arrived. Thank you for your assistance. He speaks little, though his skills are considerable. His assistance will strengthen us. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, and we get some ancient artifacts, and we get to select run reward here. Um, miniature black hole gravity grenade, uh, grenade. Sure, let's grab that. And while we're here, greetings, Commander. Can I help you? Let us turn in ancient artifacts. We got two of them, so let's continue. Good. Our strength will grow. Uh, and turn in more artifacts. And that's all for Very now. Well. Did it just let me turn in two without? It 100% did. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Let me turn in two 
without having me go through a whole bunch of dialogue again. I like that. Thank you. <gasps> Are these from Zalik? When he was with me before? Oh my gosh, I think that's what that's from. Oh, okay, so I'm going to put these down here because some of them might look cool later on. Just so I don't accidentally sell them because I don't want to do that. All right, put you guys there for now. Let's talk with Zalek. Of course. Of, that's all you say is of course? Okay. All right, so that is one companion down. Let's see if we can grab another one here. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Uh, an opportunity has arisen to recruit a remarkably efficient individual to the Alliance. I bring this to your attention directly because the person in question, Major Pierce, is an enthusiast supporter of the Imperial cause, and Admiral uh, Ego is not entirely let go or is not entirely let go of old grudges. Major Pierce's combat record is filled with aggressive victories. He's one of the best soldiers who have ever served the Imperial military, but his current superiors have pulled him from active duty and posted him on Drum and Koss as a propaganda figure to boost morale. This is a waste of his considerable talents. I believe you can convince him to join us and, re and return to the battlefield where he belongs. Let's do that. Let's travel to alert location. Let's do that. I'm, I'm, apparently he's a propaganda person? I don't like that. Psh, don't want propaganda. We need we need soldiers on the front lines destroying things. Hopefully. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder where Ooh, what's this? PvP mission terminal. Um, I wonder where um what's his name again? I think it should be wait, I wonder where Kim Val is. Or Ash Ashara, where's Ashara? I haven't talked to seen her for forever either. Ah, oh, where are my companions? I want to know where my companions are. Uh, we got Major Pierce here, though. Let's talk with you. We aren't here to drone on about facts and figures, Lieutenant. We report victories. Bloody hard-won victories. Get me one by 2200, or Cass City will hear about your upcoming suicide mission to Coruscant. Dismissed! My lord, you served on the Dark Council alongside Darth Ma. Disappeared along with him. Major Pierce. What brings you to the Outreach Bureau? Pierce, I've heard that name. Why? Could be I led that op that cracked open the Bastion on Corellia. Could be I served under the Emperor's wrath. These days I'm only trotted out like a blasted trophy. Idiots up top think it's good for morale. Winning is good for morale. Seems like the Republic's given up on Zakul and dedicated everything they've got left to kicking our hinds. Oh, sorry, interrupt. I think the Emperor's Wrath, I think that's if you play as a Sith warrior, I believe that's what you end up becoming, which is kind of cool. That's actually, that's actually super awesome. All right, so the Republic has had, oh, um. Uh, the Republic has had decades to nurture their hatred for us. Archon's Emperor isn't nearly as a appealing a target for their anger. Picked a fine time to find their backbones. Empire won't be in any shape to tackle Zakul without pushing back the Republic. Start putting wins on the board, and maybe that'll change. Hope it does. Might get me out of this stuffed shirt and back in the action. Excuse me. The ministers are waiting. Hope to hear more about you soon, my lord. Oh. Unranked Warzone matches played? What? I had to play Warzone matches in order to unlock him? That's... Interesting. Oh, a little, little, uh, little guy there. Um, that's that's an interesting one. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so let's see who's next on the alert list. Um, uh, a kindly old monster. Um, I've had I've just been briefed on a potential recruit for the Alliance, Imperial Spymaster Eckerd Loken. After several decades in the game, he's retired someplace quiet. The fact he's still alive after so many years speaks for itself in terms of his worth. 
but his record says he's a medical doctor specializing in genetics who did questionable work with rat ghouls. Uh, field reports indicate he could control them. He might also have been in contact with Sanis Lorik, if you remember the whole Lost Island mess. Uh, I think we could use someone like Lorik's expertise, but please don't mention anything about uh, anything to Ogrub. Uh, it's hard enough finding good recruits without um, finding that hut for access to them. Intel says Loken is on Aldran. Uh, I've got a shuttle waiting for your uh, for your orders. Please look into it when you get a chance. Well, let's travel there. Now we're traveling to Aldran. We're just we're just jet setting. We're traveling all over the galaxy right now. And uh, apparently, I'm gonna play some Warzone matches. Oh my gosh! Oh, you know what? Maybe I haven't played any PvP um, on any of these recordings yet. Maybe maybe I'll try that out a little. Maybe I'll try some PvP. Maybe uh. You guys can watch me die a whole bunch. Let me know if you guys want to see some of it um, in in a future episode. All right. Uh, ooh, domesticating Rackling. Um, these are rat ghouls that are just wandering around. That's not safe. Oh, there's a little uh, speeder bike here, too. I, I don't like that. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. I don't get many visitors out this way. A delivery droid, a roosting thranter, the odd sail speeder. Momentary distractions, not always unwelcome. A visit from a Sith of your station, however, is quite unexpected. Welcome to my humble abode, my lord. Uh, May I offer you some Dianogan tea? I'll accept nothing from a man who keeps rat ghouls running free. Don't mind my pets. <laughs> they were created with a modified strain. Sterile, harmless... 48 hours after transformation, the virus can no longer reproduce. Kowakian monkey lizards, originally. I find them much less obnoxious in this form. They're also remarkably good for pest control. To what do I owe this visitation? Um... I'm organizing an alliance against the Paternal Empire. I've been told you're a good man to have. And you haven't been told nearly enough. It's been nice to have made your acquaintance. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to attend to. Uh, drop the act. Remember how I said the rat ghouls were harmless? I lied. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now I'm fighting rat ghouls. They're easy to take down. Ish. Let's go. Ooh, three credits. Few people realize the kind of protective instincts rack ghouls display for their pack. A rare loyalty these days. Careful. Strike two will be your last. Have the scratches begun to itch yet? You'll find any thorn inoculations rather impotent in combating the strain coursing through your body. Um, you have a cure. You wouldn't risk letting them roam otherwise. And what if I'm just mad? I have the means to save you from the gruesome fate that awaits, but it will require more materials than I have on hand. It seems you've just volunteered yourself to replenish my stock. Uh, what do I need to do? I'd suggest you bring me whatever biochem supplies you can spare. But I'll also need new viral samples to work with. Follow Thorn's broadcasts. They'll deploy their spike anywhere a rat ghoul outbreak is detected. Activate my probes in the rat ghoul's tunnels, and they might locate useful samples. Uh, and if they then don't? we look elsewhere. Quickly. I'll begin my preparations. Uh-oh. That's not, that's not looking so good. Uh, do I have, like, a recently infected minimum health reduced by 1%? Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, not good at all. Uh, but let's see here. Um, so I need two. Uh, Loken requires supplies before he can begin his work. Uh, giving, uh, certain biochemical samples to Loken will increase your influence with him. Um, turn in supplies to Loken until you reach its influence level 10. Okay, so I gotta get a bunch of bunch of items for him uh, that I don't currently have, but that's okay. Um, oh, someone else is out here. 
uh, doing here, doing this mission. All right, let's actually, you know what, actually, I'm going to head back to Odessa here. And open up all the packages I just got before I head on to the next mission. Just be, just in case it's a longer one, uh, I'll get those ones. So uh, I got Zalik back and I found two recruits that need a little bit of work. That's okay. I'll try to figure out exactly what I need to do to get to them. Um, well, I mean, this one's easy. I just have to do uh, unranked Warzone matches. But uh, a kindly old monster, I have to find some items. So I'll have to figure that out in a bit. But let's uh, open up our caches here to see what we get here. I've got a few of them. Unlock. Uh, let's see. Remnant Yavin Knight's Belt. Ooh, cool. And something else there. And then we get... Uh, Remnant Archean Counselor's Headgear. Ooh, I kind of like that. It's got, like, the, the mask. I kind of like that look. Maybe not for Hazras, but that's kind of cool. I like that. Take all that. Let's open up the next one. Alright. Remnant Yavin Counselor's Boots. So do boots. Let's see, the next one. Knight's chest guard, okay, yeah. Not not for not for uh Hazras. But we got two different um gifts there. Ah, all the gifts. Yeah, it looks like we got one more to open up here. And the gloves. Man, did I get like almost all of it? Oh, that's not all I wanted to do. I wanted to preview them. Besides the pants and those, let's uh, put those pants on. Just yeah, let's put those are the other pants I have. Actually, it doesn't look so bad. I don't mind that. Uh, for a Jedi, not for a Sith, that's for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode a little bit early here, guys. Uh, but I'm pretty excited for how this has gone so far. So I've done uh, three of the missions. I've still got. One, two, three, four, five, six more to go. So that'll be, hopefully they'll be a little bit quicker. Uh, I think the one to get Zalek was a little bit of a longer one. So these ones might be a little bit quicker, at least to get them started here. And then I might do um, these, getting these items. Maybe not all of them, like maybe the Warzone one, I won't do all 20 because uh, that would take a while. Maybe I'll do like one or two, an episode where I do like one or two war zones to do that. Uh, the Kindly Old Monster one looks like it's going to be a bit of a jaunt around so again maybe do one to, uh, part to kind of show how it all works and then just kind of do it all off recording but uh, thank you guys so 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 very much for watching don't forget if you guys like what you see hit that like and subscribe button if you guys don't like what you see you can hit that dislike button too uh, but uh, please let me know down below what you guys are liking and disliking I'd love to hear from you guys you guys are awesome and amazing um, also if you guys do want to join the frozen empire here all you have to do is again let me know either uh, by sending me in-game mail or leaving me a comment just down below. Best yet, better, or better yet, going on the Discord. Uh, let me know on there if you guys want to join. I would love to get you guys on because not only me, but uh, everyone else that's part of the guild right now can invite you guys to the guild too. So thank you guys again so much for watching this episode. And uh, as always, guys, until next time, keep a stick on the ice. <laughs>